Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the YouTube channel Plantastic. Today we are going to look into the Meristem culture. Alright, what is Meristem culture? Meristem culture is the establishment of aseptic or azenic culture using micro shoot dips. Meristem is the actively dividing undifferentiated cells which undergo differentiation into tissues and the initiation of new organs. Shoot or root meristem culture is a technique in which a dome-shaped portion of the meristematic regions of the stem or the root tips is dissected from the selected organ plant and incubated on the culture medium. Commonly, most of the research they use the shoot meristem. This is because shoot meristem is much easier and cleaner as compared to root meristem. However, in in vitro system, you may use both shoot or root meristem. In this topic, we are mainly focusing on the shoot meristem. There are some other names for the meristem culture, which are meristem bridge culture, that involve the liquid medium and filter paper bridge, single or multiple node culture, which obtain from the stem segments that bear one or more lateral buds. In vitro therapy, in which the meristem culture is known as the virus elimination technique in plant tissue culture. It can be referred as the micropropagation for true to type production, but specifically known as meristem culture. Generally, it also called as a shoot tip culture or meristem tip culture. So, there is a difference between a shoot tip culture and shoot culture. Shoot culture is the organ culture, whereas the shoot tip culture is the meristematic tissue culture. It is commonly to come across some terminology of the meristem culture. First, the meristemoid. Meristemoid is a cluster of isodiametric cells within a meristem or culture tissue with the potential for developmental growth, which is totipotency. The second one is mericron. Meliclone is a clone plant that are established from the meristem culture. The common plants generated from tissue culture is called as tissue culture rice plant. For meliclon, it is known as a clone plant that are established from meristem culture. These are the illustration for shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem. The anatomy of meristem is they have meristem moist, which is spherical mass of a small meristematic cells. It represented by the densely standing cytoplasm and contain large nuclei. Where can we find the meristem? We can find it from the shoot apical meristem SAM and root apical meristem RAM. The embryogenic hairless, which is the pre embryogenically determined PEDC. Or we can found on the actively growing tissues, which are known as the adventitious meristem. Furthermore, it also can be found from the meristematic layers, which are the secondary meristems or cambium, that are dividing periclinally, which eventually give rise to secondary xylem and phloem, as well as the cork cambium that produces cork. What is the mechanism of the meristem culture? Each dissected shoot meristem comprises the apical dome with a limited number of the youngest leaf primordia. It excluded any differentiated provascular or vascular tissues. The S plants in meristem culture are the very small excised shoot apices that consisting of shoot apical meristematic dome SAM with or without one or two leaf primordia, in which the leaf primordia is known as the leaf initiates. It is hypothesized that the leaf primordia provide the necessary oxygen and cytokinin to the growing apexes. We also, we also can use the root cap or the root tip that consisting the root apical meristem RAM, with the size ranging from 0.2 to 1.0 mm in length or even smaller. The embryogenic canvas comprises the meristematic cells that are not covered in the scope. As the meristem culture in this video generally refer to the meristem obtained from shoot apical meristem and root apical meristem. Practically, it can be done with the help of the simple stereoscopy microscope at the power of 40 to 60. We have to sterilize the shoot tip 
which is the organ, and carefully excise it until the transparent meristem is reached, followed by the excision of the meristematic dome and transfer to the culture medium carefully. After surface sterilization, we have to hold the shoot tip by one hand with a pair of forceps. The individual leaves are removed to expose the shoot tip. After we reach the shoot tip, the faucet and the scalpel or the needle are flamed, sterilized and cooled to prevent the contamination. When the shiny meristematic dome becomes visible, a clean cut is given and lifted on the tip of the scalpel, which will then transfer to the culture medium. It was found that the orientation of the meristem tip on the culture medium is not significant and the size of the S-plant is significant. I would like to suggest you to culture the meristem tip in such a way it is horizontally standing on the medium. This is to help the meristem culture to grow in the positive phototropism and positive geotropism. It was found that the size of the s plants is very significant. This is because the smaller the size of the meristem culture, the higher the rate of the virus elimination. However, the smaller size of meristem will result in polar survival rate, and there will be a high chance of the formation of callus, which will lead to genetic variation. Alright, how does it eliminate diseases? Endogenous bacteria and virus are difficult to be eliminated through shoot culture, which is the micropropagation, the organ culture. Therefore, it often combined with the thermal treatments, which is the heat treatments and cold treatments to eliminate the diseases. The actively growing meristematic region shows the rate of dividing is faster than the rate of the viral or bacterial invasion. Furthermore, there is no connection between the meristematic tissue and ground tissue, which is the parenchymatic tissue, which means that the lack of vascular connection. Alright, let's go to the detailed mechanism. The virus multiplication is dependent on the metabolism of the host plant. High metabolic activity in the actively dividing meristematic cells does not allow the virus replication. The rapid spread of viruses or bacteria in the plant is through the vascular system, which is then absent in the meristem region. Slower invasion rate will be observed through the plasma desmata connections. High endogenous ozone level in the shoot tips may be inhibitory to the viruses. Also, the meristem is properly protected by certain virus inactivating systems. What are the culture media conditions we need to use in meristem culture? We can use a gel medium or liquid supported with the paper wicks. For plant growth regulator, only a very few instances has used ozone for meristem culture at 0.012 to 0.4 micromolar in a combination with a cytokinin. More often, it is cultured on the medium 45 with the cytokinin or cytokinins at different concentrations depending on the plant species. There are several genes involved in the initiation and the maintenance of shoot apical meristem, which is WUS, ZLL, PNH, AGO1, KN1 for maize, BP, STM, OSH1 for rice, NTH15 for tobacco, CUC1, CUC2, NAN for petunia, CLV1, 2, and 3, MGO1, and 2. Further implication of meristem cultures are the formation of multiple shoots, production of disease and virus-free clones of plants, cryopreservation, or it can be done together with the thermal treatments which are heat or cold treatments, used in the conversion of root apical meristem to shoot meristem for shoot regeneration, or it can be used to generate into inflorescence meristem, which is the flower meristems. More frequently, it can be used in the in vitro micrografting, and this meristem culture is widely done on the grapes, which is vitis species. The advantages of the meristem culture are it has high probability of excluding pathogenic organisms that are exogenous and endogenous present in the mother donor plant from the cultures. Meristem bridge culture ensures the excellent tissue aeration. Meristem culture ensures the genetic stability of the regenerated plant without the formation of any 
adventitious organs or callus through callus formation. The buds contain relatively high cytokinin concentration, which it may possible to culture it without any supplementation of the plant growth regulators. The disadvantages of the meristem cultures are it is too technical. The loss of the S plants are the common incident during the transferring into the culture valves or in the rotated or agitated liquid medium. The extra preparation is needed to prepare the meristem bridge culture such as a paper wick. It may also develop into the associated organized meristem, for example, meristematic callus. Why we need virus elimination in the first place? This is because we need to look at the crop economics. It will affect the plants qualitatively and quantitatively. It is also the recurring process whereby the virus-free plants are liable to be reinfected by the same or more devastating viruses or other pathogens. It can be used for the germplasm conservation in which the certified pathogen-free germplasm can be obtained. Alright, before we end our video, we are going to look about how we do the virus indexing and certification. First, we can use the biological indexing, in which it employs the observation for visible symptom characteristics. It is time consuming because it takes time for the plants to show the symptoms. Molecular assays such as the serology, which is the recognition of the antigen with antibodies produced against them. For example, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, ELISA, via direct double antibody sandwich DAS or double antibody sandwich indirect. We can also use erythron microscopy such as immunosorbent erythron microscope, ISEM or nucleic acid-based assay such as the polymerase chain reaction PCR, nucleic acid hybridization, and DNA microarray technology. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and turn on notification. Please like us at the Facebook page and also follow us at the Instagram. If you have any inquiries on collaboration, please email to plantastic.mind at gmail.com. This is not a sponsored video and I would like to share with every one of you the reference I used in this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.